All right, guys, Jim and I are back out today. We traveled a couple hours west um, to a new town. It's got a lot of 1870s houses. We're hunting this one right now. It was built in 1875. And Jim just says he's got an Indian at about five inches. Awesome, man. Oh, that's clean. Look at that, 1906. Beautiful, love the soil. Just cleans right off. It's the first house of the day too, so we'll keep going and see what else we can get. All right, so we're still going at this house. Jim and I have found a couple wheat pennies since that last Indian, and I was going along the sidewalk here and I had a high tone. I was thinking I was digging a silver, and I just popped that out. It's an Indian, and look how clean it is. I mean, the dirt just fell right off of it. Oh, she's pretty. 1902. I'm wondering if there's something else in the hole with the way it was sounding, but that is awesome. I'm gonna check back over the hole and I'll let you guys know if there's anything else. All right, Jim's calling me over. He says he got a nickel. He's thinking it's an older one. I think I got a V. Oh yeah, that's at least a V. What was that, like three inches too? Three to four. Oh, where'd you go? Did it drop here? Did it fall? No, there it is. Oh yeah, that's a V. 1905. Man, all the coins are coming awesome. out super clean here. Oh yeah, look at that, that's just clean. Great find, man. Thank you. All right guys, Jim's calling me over. He says he got silver. So let's see. Oh yeah. I think it's a one dimer. I think that's the back of it. I'm gonna rub it a little or? Go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh dude, look at that. That's gotta be seated based seated. off the, it's seated. It's seated. seated. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip it over here. I see no mint mark. Oh yeah, it's seated 100%. 1876, yeah. baby. Yeah. Nice. Oh, let's get a close up there. Heck yeah. Way to go, man. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we tried out this town. This house was built in 1875. We've just been working this front area. And how deep was that? Only like three inches? About three to four. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Unbelievable. Great job, man. Thank you. All right, it's a little while later. The fines are starting to flow, uh, slow down for this house, but Jim just got a war nickel. 1943. Awesome, man. Thank you. We'll keep going. All right, so it's been a little while since we were on the last property. Um, we just had trouble getting answers and there's a lot of abandoned houses in town, but we just got onto this one. Um, it's a nice corner lot and Jim's working way down here by this empty lot and he said he's got an Indian. Awesome. Looks like it's got a hole in it. How deep was it? Four to three to four inches. I was just testing out the soil, see what's here. Yeah, it's got like a hole right over the date, so. Sweet find. Thank you. All right, so Jim and I moved on to this 1893 house, nice corner lot. Um, been going here about five minutes and I got a 1909 wheat. Um, just had a high tone here, about four inches, and I got it out. And I see a silver dime there. So we're gonna pull it up here and see what we got. Merc. 44. Sweet. Awesome. I'm just glad I'm on the board now. We've been hunting all day. So, we'll keep searching. All right, so I seem to be on a little hot spot in this area. I pulled like five wheats out. I had another high tone here, it was bouncing around, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be silver, but I see a dime down there in the hole. It looks kind of worn. So 
so let me take off my gloves here. It's a worn Merc. Nineteen twenty. Sweet, this is a good little yard. You got two marks, tons of wheats. And it's all in this one little area too. I mean, I still got all this to cover, so we'll keep going and see what else we can get. All right, so Jim's bottom feeding in my area. He's up in here. He's got a nice silver tone, so I'm gonna watch him live. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's small too. Oh, there it is. Oh, silver. You want me to pull it out? Yep. Rosie. You can have a Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 48, I think. Awesome find. Thanks. All right, this has turned out to be a nice little yard. Jim's saying he's got an Indian. Real choppy signal. Looks like 1902. That's the oldest coin out. This house is 1893, so I'm hoping we can find more of that. But because most of the stuff has been like wheats and mercs and rosy and stuff, but we'll keep searching. All right, so I'm working the other side of the yard now, and I had a nice Indian tone, and sure enough, just popped one out. Looks like 1907. This has been a great little yard. Right, guys Jim and I are back out today in the same town we got permission for several houses in town that are um, owned by the city um, this one was built in 1877 it's a huge lot um, we just walked on and I just got a wheat penny at like one inch so we're gonna have to dig it all and Jim's over there he's digging something he said it sounded pretty good so I'll definitely go check that out too if it's something if it ends up being something good all right so Jim's saying his signal was a weedy too so that's two already. Oop, I just dropped it. 34. Sweet. All right, Jim's saying he's got something interesting, so we're gonna check it out. Oh yeah. Same on the back. Wonder what that'd be for. With those stoves and... That's pretty cool. A little piece of advertising. Alright, so Jim and I are on a new house now. We tried a lot of the city-owned properties and they weren't painted out. Um, so we're on this one now. Uh, Jim found a weed so far and I just had a shallow high tone here. And I see a silver coin. So let's see what we got. Rosie. 1947. I'll take it though. It's been a pretty rough start, so. There you go. Yeah. And we're right down the street from the 1875 house that Jim found that seated at last week, so we're hoping there's going to be something old around here. Nice job. Thanks. All 
part. So I went back over the hole and I was still getting a choppy high tone. So I went down there, I widened it a little bit and I think I see a silver ring there. It's really weird. There must be a lot of iron in the area because the signal kind of went away. So it's pulled out. Yep. Nice little silver ring. Have to look for a marking. But sweet. We'll keep going. This turned out to be a nice little yard. I'm still going here a few minutes after that silver ring. I had a nice 12-12, about three inches, and just popped out a buffalo. It's really clean too. I think I'm gonna get a date. I think it's 1927. Awesome. All right, so it's been a little while, haven't had a whole lot of luck. Um, and now we're doing the house next door to the 1875 house and I'm working right here up against the sidewalk. Had a really nice high tone. Um, it was mixing, I just pulled out a nail and I kept going and now I see a silver quarter. And it's looking like an SLQ. So let's see. Yep. <laughs> Type 2. Oh my gosh. No date. A D mint mark. Awesome. That's my second SLQ this year. Usually I only find one a year. All right, so I got to looking at the SLQ a little bit more and it actually does have a date. It's a 1917. I don't know if you can see that there. 1917 Denver. Man, what an awesome find. These just barely ever come up. I mean, they're such a rare coin to find. So, really happy with that. If I don't get anything else today, I mean, my day is just made. So, we'll keep searching. All right, I must be onto a little hot spot here because I just pulled the SLQ out right here. I came over, I had another high tone. It was scratchy just like the other one. And out pops a silver dime. It looks like a one dimer too. It looks older. Oh yeah, it's a one dimer. D mint mark. 1907. Awesome. I guess I kind of picked the good side no here. Doubt. Wow, it's crazy we've gone the whole day, the houses haven't produced and when we just did this one curb strip next to where the CD came out right over there and just boom, all this. So, awesome, we're gonna keep searching. All right, so now Jim's hitting that section of curb strip where the SLQ and Barber Dime came out and he's saying he found an eagle button. Oh wow, it's one of the World War One Great Seal buttons. It's a big one too. I think that's World War One. I. I mean, it could be World War Two, I guess. But awesome find, man. Thanks. All right, Jim's saying he finally got an Indian. He gave me the signal. So we did miss something in this curb strip. Must have gone over there so many times too. Oh, it looks worn. 1890. Beautiful condition. How deep was it? About seven. Great job, man. Thanks. All right, guys, so I'm working a new curb strip now. It's across the street from the 1875 house. Had a penny signal here. I mean, it was really shallow. I thought, didn't even think it was gonna be silver, but looks like I just popped out a worn dime. It's a Merc. Man, with how worn it was, I was hoping it was gonna be seated. But I will take that, 1925. All right, sweet. On to the next.